there would always be trauma. Now you say you want to have another baby. Fantana, this is none of your business. If I want to have another baby with Diamond, I will do it. He's not using me. Diamond can never use me because he's not even top five. Diamond is just part of my past. Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth episode of Young, Famous, and African. <sighs> So on the previous episode, everyone was just eating Louis up. Like Swanky, why would you invite someone just to swallow them? Like this was so not cool at all. Like this not cool. So just everyone was just attacking Louis, especially Bonang. I don't know why Bonang was just behaving like a baby. Well, she's a baby. So this episode is leaving us to what would really happen between Zari and Fontana. I can't wait to see it, guys. I really cannot wait. So, and also what is also going to happen between Annie and Swanky. So guys, I tell you what, Annie and Swanky are finally made up. Even though it was all fake, like complete fake. Swanky doesn't believe. Swanky is like, well... He, he can no longer like look at Annie the way he used to look at her because of what happened. And since the fact she's not ready to own up to everything that he had, so this is giving him this, well, he can no longer trust her. He can no longer call her that bestie and all that, you understand? Because um, Annie truly wasn't really willing to admit. Like she was just trying to say, okay, you know what? I know both of us are having issues let's just dead it let's just dead it and move past it so no point we getting down on the issues and swanky wanted that swanky wanted that clarification swanky wanted annie to tell him have i done anything to you to warrant all those things i had but annie wasn't re ready to start saying all those things you understand so this leads me to a conclusion that yeah annie did say those things yeah because if you are not willing to you know say it again so that shows that you definitely said those things, but you are trying to corner your way around it. So I don't know why Annie said all those things she said, but that's absolutely none of my business, honestly. So this is them just trying to get past whatever thing they had before. So for Annie, Annie is like, she still loves Swanky. Yeah, she loves him so much. Swanky hasn't given her a reason not to love him, but he has given her a reason not to trust him. And Swanky on the other part is like, um he no longer he don't longer see annie the way he used to see her so it's each time he just see annie it's just like okay i hello i hello and that's just it nothing much like there is no way they are going to get back to the way they were before so anyway let's see if this let's just see how it works but if this is how they want to be well it's cool at least it will finally let everyone breathe like everyone can now you know move move forward yeah so after what was happened between Louise, Bonang, Swanky, and Fontana, um, Zari decided to meet up with Louis and try to get his own parts of the story. So Zari actually believes what Louis is saying because Zari said for someone to keep saying the same thing more than two occasions, that shows that it is true. Because if actually you were lying, definitely your words would be plain on you, which is true. So this is actually true. Louis was not lying about what happened between him and Bonang. And to be honest, I think Louis just was just shooting himself. I don't know if he was actually thinking him apologizing to Bonang again would make her okay, get past everything. Well, to me, I don't think see any reason why he would have still apologized to her. But Louis have said he's no longer apologizing to her. Is no longer speaking to her like let her believe whatever thing she wants to be and i agree with that if you keep if you say sorry <laughs> let me speak like i if you say sorry if you apologize for something more than twice then the person is not willing to accept then let it be like just let it be which is true if she doesn't want to accept that you are sorry and everything go ahead let her be fine at least you've removed it out of your chest let her be the one to keep packing it all so bonang is just being a baby a complete baby and swanky is also being a baby like a child like i expected him to you know tell everyone to just sit out whatever differences they have but instead he was just there watching dstv wow that was really bad that was really really bad so kanye has not been around yeah because she missed annie's dinner with the other people and um so she missed annie's dinner 
So Nadia invited her, invited her and Louis along with Naked to, you know, <laughs> to say some tea. So Nadia invited, uh, invited Louis, invited Naked for a tea. Yeah, drink some tea and say some tea. You get guys. So this is them. So Kanye was just asking her, so what happened? Like what has been happening since I've not been around? And Nadia just started with, did you guys hear what Two Face said? Like they invited them for their dinner, and Two Face was just saying all manner of things. So she was just on and on and on, and Kanye was really disappointed. She was like, she doesn't even know what to say. Well, Louis was just like, mm, knowing the kind of person Two Face is, he he doesn't think Two Face can say stuff like that. Why naked is like, well the mistake uh, two-faced did was he actually did not um he actually sounded as if he was personalizing it so it was looking as if he was talking about himself but he was not actually referring to himself and instead of nadia to just you know sit it out she was just on and on and on and on right well after they were done talking about two-faced and annie's issue they went on with Louis and Bonang with Swanky. So Louis was telling them how Bonang treated him. You understand? And um, Kanye was like, well, she was surprised. She was really surprised Bonang reacted that way. But Naked doesn't seem to believe Louis because according to Naked, it's like Bonang is a close friend to him. So he definitely understand um kind of person bonang is so he doesn't know why she would react that way to louis so that shows that louis is the one with the issues not bonang so naked doesn't seem to like Lu naked doesn't seem to like um louis so it's naked and swanky i don't know what this guy is doing to them i really don't know so anyway later on um naked and kaylee invited all of them for a um so invited them out for another event yeah so before annie and the others arrived it was just uh, kaylee naked zari and nadia including louis so they're just talking 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 nadia nadia has just been the one talking here guys so she was just talking and she started talking about fantana so while she was just talking about Fantana, boom, Fantana came in. And she was just like, look, we're just asking Louis if um you and Louis have finally decided to go out on a date. So the next thing Louis is like, yeah, they are still planning it. So everyone is now like, um, so is it like Louis now speaks for you, Fantana? Well, Zari was like, Yeah, she notices people speaks for Fantana. That's the same thing that happened the other day that it was just bonang that was speaking for her when they talked about diamond and she was just she's just like no it's not true it's not true guys this whole thing now is about getting heated up yeah because zari is now attacking uh fantana or would i say they're attacking each other so diamond told fantana that time that she came to his house that you know when he was just saying all manner of lies just to make fantana open up you get so she, diamond told fantana that um zari wants both of them to have another child together but they can actually just use um surrogate and when fantana heard that she was pissed off she was like why i mean you have your own life this one has his own life so why do both of you still want to have a child together so here on this table Fantana just told Zari that Diamond said you also want to have a child with him. And Zari was Zari was like, where is this coming from? Like Diamond told you that. How dare Diamond, you understand? So Zari is like, so even though I want to have another child with Diamond, so who are you to stop me? Like, so what? Are you jealous or something? And this is making Fantana all worked up like look i don't have a problem with like she was just trying to you know defend whatever thing she's having with diamond she's just like i don't know why you guys are trying to make it seems as if me and diamond are in a relationship look we are not in any relationship diamond is doing his thing i'm doing my thing you understand and it's not looking that way to us because she's just being so defensive about it even kaylee is like she just feel 
Fontana is a little bit jealous, not even a little bit, like she just feels Fontana is jealous about Zari, like so jealous about Zari. And guys, like it's so obvious, it's just so obvious. So I don't know why Diamond would tell Fontana something like that. Well, in the next episode, we are going to see more about that. Guys, Bonag left the group. Yeah, so Swanky called everyone, told them that um, Bonang left the group because the first time she arrived, people didn't warm up to her. Second time, people were just not talking to her. Third time, people were dragging her. And I'm like, are you being serious? Like, are you being really serious? In Kanye's voice, Kanye's like, she's not used to being um, in the midst of kings and queens. She's always used to being in the midst of um, people, always ailing her, calling her queen bee, calling her my queen and everything. So in this group, everyone here are all kings and queens. So whatever or whatever you think you are, nobody cares. So that's why she's finding it difficult to brace up with everybody. And which doesn't like, we don't care. So that's what King and Kai is just trying to sell everyone here. Same with Zari. Zari is like, wait, what was she expecting? Like a grand entrance or what? And here we have Swan K all blabbing up like, it's not like that. The thing is that you people were just trying to attack her. I know he's trying to refer to Louis. At this point, I think Louis shouldn't have said anything. would have just still been quiet. But he just went on and started saying things and yes swanky is just defending his royal majesty up and down and nadia is not having it nadia is like look you need to shut it okay enough enough of everything even kai and yeah kai and nadia all in the same side with louis they're like you know what leave it that way if bonang is not ready or willing to calm down then she should just stay the way she is and for you swanky it's so obvious that since annie is no longer your bestie you're just looking for the next available bestie that's why you're like this so it's so obvious you're still going through a breakup so in the next episode we'll get to see more about zari and fansana including diamond because i would really want um the three of them to meet and say all this thing because yeah fantana already phoned diamond telling him that she doesn't understand why zari is just attacking her and everything honestly it's fantana i don't know if it's just you being stupid or you actually know what you are doing because it's so obvious that diamond doesn't care about you like he just wants to get down there which he has and zari was even telling her that he has a girlfriend so she didn't believe that she's looking at it like maybe zari is just trying to be mean to her but she's not also looking at it in the other way that what if this lady is trying to look out like watch out for you you understand but let us see guys let's see how the next episode is going to play out so stay tuned as always because the next episode will be dropping sooner than you expect do have a lovely day see you in the next episode bye